The life of a race car driver usually consists of this. Uh, a lot of suitcases, airplanes, hotels, and racetracks. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through what I actually pack in my race gear bag and also just what I bring with me on my trips uh, to my race events. This year, it's going to be packed. We have over 20 race weekends. Pretty much half the year, we're going to be racing. So this is going to be my home away from home. And this is all the stuff I typically bring with me. If you're new to the channel, my name is Daniel Morad. I'm a professional driver. I'm racing for Mercedes AMG, and I'll be driving all over the world this year. Um, it's going to be a really exciting year, and this is what I'm bringing with me, and we'll pack my bag right now. When I pack my bag, I'm basically starting with my race gear. I always put that at the bottom, and I try to keep everything within a carry-on limit. So I'll have my suitcase. This is, um, this is called a DB uh, suitcase, and I also have the DB backpack, which I have my helmet in there. I don't really like to have like a uh, helmet bag where I have to hold it. I typically like to put it on either my suitcase or have it on my back. So the backpack is actually great. Now, all my race gear here is fireproof. So we have the fireproof Mercedes provided gear. The first thing I really do is I take my Nomex. So these are my tops and my bottoms, and I'll just like shove them in the bottom of my bag and try to fill the crevices of the suitcase where the, uh, the handrail goes. And then I'll take my, my Nomex socks, fill in, the, um, fill in the other negative space. And we got balaclavas as well. This is for my, um, it's not for robbing a bank. It's for actually protecting my head from fire in the race car. So I jam those in there as well. And just honestly, I pretty much have an engineering degree in packing with how much I've packed. So we just try to fill as much space as possible because you don't want any, any empty space on the bottom of your bag. Next thing I do is race suit. Now, usually I'll bring one suit, maybe two. Um, I might even leave a suit with my race team if uh, they're nice enough to keep it and do laundry. But um, because I'm driving with multiple teams, I'll be driving with three different operations this year around the world. Um, yeah, I just sometimes can't leave my stuff, so I need to bring it with me. So suit in. Now, the gloves depending on my space, I may either leave some balaclavas out, so I'll maybe just take a couple out, and the gloves, because when you travel light like this, and you know, obviously I don't want to lose my bag, so I try to keep it carry-on level, um, I have to maximize space. So I'll save this for later, and you'll see why. We're gonna get creative with it. Uh, I'll just put my sports shorts, my uh, spandex, I like to wear these as my, uh, my underwear. Just feels nicer, keeps everything secure in place. So now that's done. Now I can drive, sort of. Got my headphones as well. I usually leave these to put in my um, my helmet bag. So these are custom molded earplugs for me. They're really nice. They fit right in my ear. I've actually had these for four years now. Probably due for some new ones, but I have two sets just in case I have a failure or something. Oh, I still got it. Um, next up, my team gear. So this is stuff that's given to me by Mercedes. So I have to wear this actually at the racetrack. Yeah, whenever we're at the track, we have to wear our, our um, team gear or whatever the, the manufacturer gives us. So because I race for AMG, they gave me these shirts. So I'll toss these, um, you know, I'm gonna toss them in the front portion of the bag because one thing I forgot were well, my race shoes. Can't drive without those. So these are um, fireproof shoes, high tops. And I have them in like a little shoe bag just to protect them. I don't like my dirty champagne covered shoes get all over my clothes. So I'll chuck those in there at the back and really try to squeeze everything to make more space. This, I, I usually try to keep near the top of my bag because when I'm traveling, I wear my own clothing and my Moradness clothing. Check it out on moradness.com. And if you're new, you can use code RADNATION as a first time buyer, you get 10% off. So that's something to check out. But yeah, this is my AMG hoodie and I'll wear this sometimes when I'm traveling, but I usually like to wear my own stuff when I'm traveling. So I'll leave that to the side. And when I go to the racetrack on a casual day, so like let's say a setup day, I'll, um, I'll have to wear our like casual clothing. So we're almost done. We got pants. Um, I'm gonna start filling in the space here with my normal clothes. So we got my pants, some Moradna shorts for training. When you're away, just jam that in, fit that in all the negative space. We've got some 
normal socks for a short trip. Got a couple pairs. Now I got my, this is a nice one. This is more of a, when you're, when you go out at night, I'll wear this. Well, not out, but like to dinner away from the track. It's not often where we actually get to uh, go for dinner, like away from the track. We're usually having dinner at the track because there's so much, you know, it's so involved, right? We're always there um, being with the engineers, mechanics. This is another shirt um, that I would wear just like if I'm traveling or casually or training. Like they're good for everything, really. The Moradness jerseys, probably the thing I wear the most, to be honest with you. I have them in all three colors, red, white, and black. So just jam that in there. This is what I travel with. More Adnus hoodie. This thing is nice. This is actually our new 24 collection for winning the Rolex 24. And um, we we just designed a nice collection with gold all over the, the hoodie. Even the shirt too. That's what I'm wearing. But um, this is what I usually wear. Actually, oh, 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 wait a second. We even got the watch on the sleeve. Um, but yeah, this is something I would wear... One of my Morana cities I'll wear on the plane. So I'm going to put this to the side because that's going to be something I actually put on when I go through the airport. Um, okay. So now we're like, we're actually doing pretty well. I thought I was going to run out of space, but uh, we got the AMG hoodie. Kind of chucked that near the top. I got to put my Hans device in my suitcase. So flip this over. That in there. I don't have my toiletries, forgot that, but it's okay, you get the idea. I'll just imagine I put it in there somewhere, like right here. Um, that looks good. I think we can pretty much uh, close it. Oh, you know what, we can't close it up. We can't close it up yet, because I have this stuff. This is like my my jacket. You never know what the weather's gonna be like, because you're traveling to so many different places. But this stuff's easy. Well, easy to pack, you know, it can just stuff it in there this is a little puffer jacket and um like a windbreaker so this is another one that's like pretty easy just to fit in anywhere and it just compresses nicely so almost done with the suitcase i travel with this thing everywhere it's an ipad pro 10 or it's a 12.9 inch i watch movies do i look at data on here look at video for um whatever i'm doing at the racetrack even if I had GoPro footage, I put it on my iPad and I'll edit the footage and make like small clips or whatever. If I'm uh, on the road, if AM Films can't do it for me, of course, uh, if it's, you know, the time change is not good, but let's just uh, lock this up for now and we'll put this to the side. It's an awesome suitcase, by the way. I, I really love it. What sold me on this was actually the fact they threw it off a building and it survived, so... If it can survive a fall from a building, it can survive traveling around the world. Now, this is my helmet bag. This is something I keep on me all the time. And I keep a lot of my personal stuff in here. So, um, yeah, the helmet, first of all, goes in. This is uh, my helmet that I'm currently using. Actually going to be swapping it out this year. This is, this is the helmet that um, has actually brought me a lot of success. Rolex 24 win, Indy 8-hour win. Uh, a lot of GT4 race wins in the IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge. So, going to be sad to retire this guy, but served us well. But usually put the protective cover on because I'm very protective of my baby. My helmet is everything. It's what keeps my head safe. So, um, before actually, before squeezing that tight, remember we said we're going to put this stuff somewhere. Now, that has to go in here because we have to be efficient with the way we're packing because there's no space jam this stuff in here earbuds also inside and i actually have a little bit more space which is nice so this goes in my backpack got a few essentials more adding this hat you can squeeze that in there that's nice and now the electronics. Got cables, lots of cables. Lots and lots of cables. Wrap these guys up. I have like a cable compartment right in my helmet. So I'll put them actually like here. Or you know what? I'm gonna put them down low. Seems like it will fit better. 
So the cables go in there. More cables. Just different types of cables because like you never know what rental car you have. And I want to make sure my phone connects to it. Got sunglasses. I actually made these custom. They're like Ray-Ban custom glasses. I'm a huge sunglass guy. So if you see me at the racetrack, I'm always having sunglasses on. But we'll put that in the top. Top pouch. Got it. Oh. We're going all over the place, but I got one of these uh, air tags because you never know. You never know when somebody takes your stuff. Gum for airplanes, just pop your ears. AirPods, super important. Noise canceling. AirPods Pro. Sharpie. It's actually kind of cool because the YouTube channel is growing and uh, Twitch and just the, all the social media platforms. A lot of people, I'm not joking, even in the airport, people are like coming up and saying, hey, are you Daniel Morad? It's like the coolest thing. But I always want to be prepared because the amount of times like, oh, can I have your autograph and I don't have anything to sign with? I'm like, uh, I would like to, but I don't have a pen or anything. So I just keep a Sharpie on me because you never know. It's kind of weird. It sounds like you're full of yourself, but I mean, the amount of times I've been stuck without one, it's useful to have it. Charging brick, this is, um, it actually charges two different things. So phone and iPad at the same time. Just toss that in there and we're doing well. We have one last piece. I always carry a watch on me and I always wear this. So I have a carrying case for my uh, my Daytona. It's Right now this is in my rotation. I'll be wearing this on my upcoming trip, but I have my Rolex Daytona winning watch. Well, this is the 2017 version. So I'll put that on. And I just have a carrying case for like nighttime when, when I don't have the watch on. I don't want to scratch it or anything. And that can actually go on the top as well. Now we can zip this up. It's kind of a tight fit, but that's, I'm not going to say it. You, you guys say it. You can say it for me in the comments. <laughs> uh, there we go. We're done. I think we're done. Now I have my pouch. This is the final pouch where I just keep all my passport um my my racing license things like that my essentials lounge cards frequent flyer my wife jess she uh, makes sure that my lips are always hydrated so i have chapstick um and tylenol in case i have a headache or something with all the travel oh, i even have moisturizer moisturizer because you got to have a good skincare routine let me know if you guys are on it or if you just uh, dry dog, like right out of the shower, no, no moisturizer. It's not good for you. It's how you keep your skin nice and smooth. But that's it. Look at this. We have efficiently packed everything. Can you imagine? We got everything in here. So this is my full essential race kit slash travel kit slash casual lifestyle wearing kit. And I fit everything in two, ba two bags. It's um, actually crazy. I was nervous before the video. I was like, what if we get to the end and I couldn't fit everything? But this is what we have. Let me know if you guys could also, if you could pack this efficiently. I'm actually curious to know, how do you guys travel? I mean, I have to have a helmet, race gear, and casual stuff. Um, I even have shoes somewhere that I'm supposed to wear, which we're going to get right now. And we're going to do some editing magic to end back in this spot. These shoes right here are something that's also provided from AMG. And I'll just wear these. I'll bring one pair of shoes. Unless I have extra space inside my bag, I'll bring a second pair. But um, yeah, when you're running tight on space, just one pair is enough. These are waterproof AMG Puma shoes. And they're actually incredible. The amount of puddles I've jumped through and kept my feet dry has been wonderful. So this is my essential travel kit hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so like the video thumbs up on the video and if you're feeling spicy maybe you can go double thumbs down and then click thumbs up what do you guys travel with i'm actually curious to know uh let me know down in the comments what is in your bag when you guys go on vacation or when you go on a work trip i'd love to know how you guys travel maybe you can give me some tips to be a more efficient packer Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.